So this morning, SeaWorld, we're here right about opening time on row 20, gotta remember our spot. It's gonna be the of Outdoor Show, so bring shade. So here's another park we haven't been to in like 10 years. So remember we had preferred parking, park up front, it was nice and easy, but uh, looking forward to this. I got a couple new rides, including uh, Spillwater Falls, I believe it's called. So that should be fun. Uh, Mako I'm looking forward to. And always love the shows here. So this is gonna be a nice relaxing day for the most part. Strolling around, catching the animals, and having a good time. Looking forward to this one. And hey, it's another day of all you can eat. So SeaWorld's security isn't necessarily the smartest, I think. They have the metal detectors before the bag check. So you have to walk through the metal detector with your bag. which And then you check your bag afterwards. So that means if you have something in your pocket while you go through with the bag, they're not going to check your pockets because they're only looking in the bags after the metal detector. Um, you might want to fix that. <laughs> okay. Pictures. The lighthouse. Camera people. And now it's the charge to... Mako and the falls. That's cool. Love the beauty of this park. All sorts of stuff everywhere. We'll come back to the dolphin nursery in a little bit. Going to kind of walk through the waterfront area. And the goal is to kind of get ahead of the crowds a bit. Most of them seem to be going towards Mako and Journey to Atlantis, so or towards. Manta and Journey to Atlanta, so hopefully we can avoid them a bit. This is actually always one of our favorite parts of the park too, because it's just so pretty. A little more look at the waterfront area. There's restaurants in here, lots of shopping. The Sky Tower, which used to cost extra. I imagine it probably still does. And then it gives you a nice look out over the water. You can see Shamu Stadium hiding right over there and then their ski show if they have one is over there although I don't believe they've got one of those going right now and you can see some construction work too and this restaurant right up here was actually one of our favorite seat at again barbecue and pizza although um we'll have to reevaluate that one a little bit based on my wife's allergies now and the Pets Ahoy Theater is right there. We'll come back to that one later today, too. But this up here, I believe, is what our goal is. Infinity Falls and Mako. Well, this is something I did not realize. Mako and Infinity Falls don't open until 10. So, I guess we will head back the other way and maybe catch Kraken or something. Well, slight change of plans, we decided since uh, we can't do the two big ones quite yet, they don't open until 10, uh, we're actually gonna stop over here at Antarctica and catch the penguins, because this has been completely redone since we were here last, and it looks pretty cool. Plus, my wife can ride this one. So first spot. Happy people. So what do you get after the pre-show? <laughs> Another line. Hopefully it's not too terribly long. But you can choose between the mild expedition or the wild expedition. It's also sort of kind of neat. It's a short little intro ride to come in, but the vehicles are all trackless. It gives you a nice little, essentially, preview video before you get in, and you can see uh, there it goes. And they'll spin and duck and dive. Pretty neat little ride. And then when you get off, there's the penguins. Better look at all of the. Penguin area it goes on, and you can see them zipping around in the water. This 
one guy, he's just totally full of energy. It's so kind of a neat little experience. I think I probably liked it more than Amber did. Amber found the story of the baby penguin annoying. But it does seem like a, a little kid's movie. Yeah, kid friendly, but I thought it was a neat little ride. And the CGI isn't great on it, but it's a fun way to do it. We'll probably go back later and go the non-rider entry to skip the ride and then see what we didn't get to see. But for now, we're heading over to um, the Rapids and uh, Mako to try and catch them while the lines are short. So this area of the park's been open five minutes and you can already see that there's a bit of a line. There should be some lockers over here, I would think. Gotta figure out where they are. But there's the ride. And there. this about Infinity Falls. <laughs> it's wet. I'm happy I had a cover for my camera bag because they do let you take your stuff on it. But if you do, make sure it has a way to stay dry. Fun fun ride. Like the drop. What do you think? Cool. We're waiting for the day. Like I said, we're pretty well drenched. So we're going to take a look at our on-ride photo and laugh and not pay for it because I don't have that money right now. But give me right. So with that done, I think we're going to try and head over to Mako. Amber and I are going to try and get our rides on that. It'll air dry us a little bit. Although I don't mind being wet right now. It felt really good. But, uh, very cool though. Love the drop on this. So I got two rides on Mako. My daughter took one and then she had to go get a drink. Um, awesome coaster. Oh my goodness. One of those rides was in the back seat. This coaster easily has the most airtime of any coaster in Florida. If you go to the back, the pullovers are, are fantastic. I, I'm hoping to get some more rides on that later today. That is, That may be the best coaster in Florida. A fantastic ride. So, yeah, Mako is awesome. If any falls, is good, but Mako is, oh my goodness. that That's the kind of coaster that if I still lived in the area, I would be making visits just to ride that thing. Um, an absolutely incredible ride. So, we're off to go see Shamu and play with the killer whales and start hitting some of the shows because we like the shows and that way my wife there can do something besides sit and wait while I ride rides. So first show for the day, Shamu. Definitely check your show schedule because there's a bunch of shows and you want to kind of make sure you can get as many, if not all of them in. And that'll take up a bunch of your day. What's almost kind of sad though is I'm looking at this and this is actually the exact same set as they used last time we were here, which was almost 10 years ago. So um, perhaps a little overdue to update Shamu. Definitely a little bit different than last time we saw it because the trainers are no longer allowed in the water with them. Uh, so it, it missed a little bit that way, but enjoyed it. Enjoyed seeing them again. So we were just outside the splash zone, so we didn't get wet at all, which was just fine. Yeah, you know, your foot got wet. <laughs> but time for lunch. Go get some food. So lunch, waterway grill. And looking forward to this because Supposedly has several flavors of the Amazon, which my wife, of course, lived in Bolivia for several years, and one of the things she noticed on the menu was sweet plantains. So we got a screamer behind us, but um, we have steak and jello, and then my wife has the plantains and rice because of her restricted diet, and yeah, she's getting my jello. 
And then my daughter has chicken. So we're going to be splitting the chicken on the steak, really, between us. Lunch was really good. Um, my daughter and I shared the chicken and the steak. I like the steak a little bit better. She really liked the chicken. So it was good. Uh, my daughter had the plantains and rice. My daughter. My wife. Yeah. Uh, but she had the plantains and rice because they cooked everything else there with garlic. But the plantains so. were amazing. And the rice was awesome. And I got jello for dessert. So it was just right. But good meal. Really good meal. So we'll get more later. We're actually heading right into the stadium we just arrived at. The Sea Lions. You got Sea Lion High with Clyde and Seymour. The one thing that's missing that we used to absolutely love here. No mime. Of course, back when, back then it was a Pirates themed show. But I miss the mime. I'm going to correct myself. We have a mime. Yay. Yay for mime. that show easily one of our favorites so this is one of my beefs one of the few why does the sky tower cost five dollars more 
just to be able to go up. I would love to be able to go up, but when you're penny pinching, <laughs> that's not an option. But there it is. So we'll have to catch that another time. It's a fun little ride. This is one of the things that's kind of neat, right by the Sky Tower. You can actually pick a pearl. You can sit there and help you out with picking one. But then uh, they would actually, they used to dive for them here. So you could kind of point them to the one that you want to grab and they would dive down and grab them. So next up is Pets Ahoy, which is an indoor show. I kept telling her that we would skip the show if she didn't want to see it. I'm totally okay with skipping this one. I don't know why it even looks like that. Yeah, it's just animals, you know, dogs. <laughs> Our show are either surrendered by their owners or left out in the streets and eventually taken to a shelter where no one came to claim them. But here at Pets Ahoy, we're proud to have over 100 animals who've all been adopted from animal shelters and our rescue facilities. Okay, Amber, so did you like your pets? Do Very similar to the show I've seen at Bush Gardens, I think. So, but, um, so yeah, a lot of the same behaviors. But, fun ride. We're kind of walking under Manta. Don't think we're going to ride Manta today. So, got plenty of those rides in earlier, but we're going to kind of think we're going to get a bite to eat again, try something else with our meal plan, and see some other stuff over here. Maybe see the dolphins in a little bit. Looking for mantas. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Stingray Lagoon. My name is Catherine. I'm the educator of the area. I'm currently in the project with the food or great interaction with our race. Now, after you spent some time talking to race, you might decide you'd like to try your luck at feeding them. I always encourage everyone to spend time touching them first. If you're not comfortable to touch it, then you're definitely not going to be comfortable to eat But if you are comfortable to touch the race, then you use guys for means of defense and only defense, and it's pretty much used as a last resort if the animal is scared or threatened or hurt and can't get away from the situation. So a little bit of a bummer here with the dolphin pool. Uh, they used to have this open where anybody and everybody could come up, but now apparently you've got to have a reservation to be able to do it of some sort. Um, but it's all groups. They're all getting coached on how to do it and what to do. And the other areas are basically all closed off unless you're part of one of these groups. You're not getting down. So I'm not quite sure how they're doing that now. Yeah, the dolphin things now, you got to have a paid reservation, so uh, that's not happening. So we're exploring around a little bit, finding some other alternatives, and um, heading down towards manatees and sea turtles. We're going down. That one's kind of hiding there. But you can see there's at least six manatees in there. Give you a little look at the others all hiding up in the corners. So what you may not be able to see is this thing isn't just domed, it's 360 degrees. It's pretty incredible. close there is a baby there this is what they've been talking about I see a couple big ones but Um, but as you kind of 
Okay, next small meal, Expedition Cafe. You see, I got a little bit. They were going to get stir fry, but... Uh, the people who were doing the food weren't really... They were staring around and then slowly, slowly scooping and then stopping and talking to each other. And it was taking forever and the line was stretching almost to the door. Yeah, so basically cheesecake, grapes and fruit, and we may get something else later. Next stop is the Dolphin Show. This is actually the same set that they created for Blue Horizons, although it definitely looks a little bit different in that there aren't any spots I see up there for essentially trapeze artists or bungee artists to be plunging down into the water. But they do still have the track up there. We'll see how much they use, what they do. So we changed our seats because I took a look at the radar and saw storms rolling in and went, hmm. So you can now see, if you look careful at the water down there, uh, it's raining pretty hard. We're up at least in close to shelter, but they did just announce that they've delayed the show due to uh, weather, including lightning in the area. So I'm at this point grateful that we moved, but hopefully we can get the show going. But yeah, it's starting to rain pretty good there. Whew. So it's pouring rain and they're about to start the show. A nice little thunderstorm rolled in right in about two-thirds of the way through the show. So it's lightly raining now. We're starting to get tired. You can actually see they're wearing out. I'm getting tired too. Like to stick around for the evening stuff. I don't know if we're going to though. We're slowly making our way over to the smokehouse. Get another meal on the meal plan that way. Uh, get some air conditioning, some rest, some fluids. And then kind of decide if we're going to stick around later or if we're about done. But um, it's been a good day so far. A little busier than I would like, but can't say I'm terribly surprised by that. But good day. We've had a lot of fun. And this is our destination while it rains. Air conditioning, food, drinks. And then we'll see how much we recover. And this I am looking forward to. Brisket, sausage, chicken, some fruit. My wife has a nice salad there. And then my daughter's got a little bit of salad, more because I made her get it. <laughs> She's not feeling real good. I was like, get hydration. So, yum yum. All right, good meal. Feel pretty good. Uh, but we're all, I think, getting pretty tired. My poor daughter, she's just toast. So, <laughs> we are going to start heading on out. We're gonna do a little bit of souvenir shopping, I think, on our minuscule budget. Pick up like my magnets and a couple other little things and then head back over to the rental house and crash for the night. So I'll give you an idea of some of the different things that they have. And of course, lots of shirts and hats and lots of clothing, even shorts. Yes, if you really make a mess of yourself, you can be taken care of here at SeaWorld. And I love the artwork. Oh my goodness. If we had a place that we could put some of this up, it would be fantastic. This was actually one of the things we always liked to come here, was just looking at all the different artwork that they would have and dreaming about having a house we could put it. All sorts of stuff. Long day, souvenir shopping is done. Got the maps, got the brochures. Spent probably a little more than we should have, but I don't think anybody's complaining. But we're pooped. <laughs> we're ready to go home. I'd love to stay for the evening shows because they're great, but it's time to go. So, hope you enjoyed this day at SeaWorld with us, and we'll catch you around. Don't forget to hit like and share and comment. So, here's another park we haven't been to in, like, 10 years. Uh, remember having our...